I am, and I'm making a YouTube video. What can go wrong? Hey, I'm smart, right? So, I've been thinking about my life lately. Doing that a lot recently. It's a very common thing people tell me. Oh, it's terrible that your hearing is gone. It's terrible that happened to you. We wish it never happened to you. Half of that is true. It is terrible that it happened. Yeah, it's bad I lost my hearing. But I don't wish that it didn't happen. Let me explain. I grew up being able to hear just fine. That's why I speak clearly. I performed on stage. I did a musical theater. So I loved doing music. It was my passion. I also worked with um, kids on the spectrum and helped teaching them music and teaching them to dance and on stage, you know, it was, I loved it. It was fun. Well, in 2015, I died. Short, plain, simple. I died in my sleep due to black mold. We didn't know it at the time. Found out later. I was 22 when this happened. I'm 28 now. The narration went around that I drugged myself because, well, understandably, what 22-year-old just suddenly stops breathing in their sleep, right? So, understandably, that their first thinking. Tests came back negative, obviously. So, didn't know what happened. Just that I died. My abusive ex-husband did contribute. I learned. He knew. First off, I went to bed a little early. I had a cold, so I did take some cold medicine. That was on my system. I had cold medicine. <laughs> That's it. But anyway, I had a cold medicine. I was having like just simple sniffles. Since moving in, it the air always felt heavy and just felt like I was sick in the apartment since moving in. Thought I was dealing with just some bad cold. Turns out it was mold. Either way, my ex-husband saw that I was laying on my back, that I had vomited and was choking on the moment. So he decides to just yell at my body and shake me, like that's gonna do anything. When I didn't respond, obviously, what's the next logical thing you would do? Oh no, he didn't do that. He left. My ex-husband left, went to a buddy's house, and after being told he should probably come back, came back. That was when my heart had stopped. So he panics, and then he calls his mother instead of 911. So even his own mother is like, why haven't you called 911? When I lost my hearing, it was devastating. But let me tell you something. I was at a dark place in my life. I was going downhill, and I know that. I didn't see the things I see now of my ex-husband. The abuse, everything. I didn't. I refused to see it. I had given birth to my son. My son is on the spectrum, and I don't post about him. I don't post him, because I have very strict ideals of what a parent should be allowed to post about their child. Regardless, I have a son. And he's on the spectrum. That's it. That's all you get to know. I had just given birth a couple months prior when this happened. So... I essentially went to bed that night, died, woke up in the hospital deaf. I went to bed hearing, and I woke up deaf. Now, my hearing, I have 10% in one ear now. My hearing has gotten much worse since then. When it first happened, I had, like, up to 40% hearing. So, in both ears, actually. 
So it got considerably worse with time. However, what I saw, I saw the afterlife, okay. There's, there's something more to this. There's whatever crazy mixed up world we live in, whatever religion is right. I'm not going to try and tell you what religion is right. I'm only saying that there is more to this life. There's more. It was bright, it was peaceful, like I was floating, like a dream. It honestly, it felt like a dream, a vivid dream. Bits of my past came back to me, pieces that were important to me stuck out. Two memories in particular. One, I'm painting gourds in my grandmother's backyard with her. I was a grandma's girl. And the second memory was me giving birth to my child. But I didn't see these memories through my eyes for, from memory. I watched myself react. I watched myself standing a few feet away like I was being shown my memories on a screen or something. And this young woman, she looked my age, told me I could stay or I could go back, but I had to hang on. I didn't really make any decision then. I just had one thought. I had just given birth a couple months ago. Where's my baby? Where's my son? That single thought brought me back. She said, it's time to wake up. And I woke up. I was in the hospital. Noticed I couldn't hear. Mouth was moving, but I couldn't hear. I already knew then, but I still asked the question anyway. Why can't I hear you? Something told me then it was gone. That it wasn't going to come back. Doctors told me they were they were hopeful. They were cheerful with their words. They didn't say yes or no, but they were very hopeful. Didn't pan out that way, obviously. I was devastated. I was depressed. It ruined me, I thought. Of course, I told my mom, I told everyone what I saw, obviously. It was a near-death experience. Well, I don't call it near-death because I was dead, but anyway... So, but I couldn't identify who the woman was. Maybe just an angel or something. Well, it wasn't until a few months later, I became my grandfather's caregiver. He went into hospice and wanted to die at home, like grandma did. Now, grandma wasted away in her years. She had myasthenia gravis, which is a cousin to AIDS. Instead of your body attacking its own immune system, your body attacks your muscles. Now, let me put that into perspective. That includes your heart and lungs. She wasted away. It wasn't a good way to go. It wasn't pretty, and it wasn't nice. Grandpa wanted to die at home like she did. So I became his caregiver. We went through a photo album, my mom and I. She's telling me different stories, different family members, whatever. That picture came up. It was that woman. I pointed her out and I told mom of course mom that that's her that's her my mom look, just looked at me he was like you know who that is right I don't know I had guessed maybe some aunt that I hadn't met or maybe did meet me when I was a baby and I just didn't remember no my mother looked at me she told me that's grandma it was grandma I saw up there she looked so beautiful. She looked young, happy, healthy. Oh my gosh, she looked healthy. <sighs> I didn't recognize her. I had never seen her looking that young before. I had not seen the pictures. I didn't know it was her. But every detail was correct. Everything was in place. It was her. That changed me. I broke down. I realized my life wasn't where it needed to be. That my husband at the time was abusive. 
I needed to leave. Get my son out. Get me out. I left. I began healing and realizing that I was suffering domestic abuse. That it wasn't not bad at all. I began dating. Getting out there again. And it wasn't long before I found him. My current fiancé. Who's the exact opposite and everything I could have ever wanted and hoped for. I wouldn't have met him. And I wouldn't be moving to California. And having all these wonderful things starting to happen for me now. If it wasn't for that terrible event. That terrible event opened my eyes. And it brought me peace. And that's worth my hearing any day. I can read lips. I can communicate with my fiancé and my family. I can get by. And that's enough for me. Because I'm still alive. And I feel like I have an answer that most people are searching for in this world. I know that there is something more. I can't tell you what religion is correct. But I can tell you there's something more to this. That this isn't just random. That there's something more. You can comment what you like. Your belief, my belief, whatever. Our experiences are different. But I'm glad, however weird it sounds, that I lost my hearing and was in that coma. I'm glad all of that happened. Yeah. Funny 4am thoughts.